Or good evening. Yes, it is evening, honey. It is evening. Seven thirty. It is a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday night, and yes. we just welcome you to join our broadcast. My name is Jeff. I'm Helen. And we are coming to you live from the SFN Church of God on 1920 Wellick Road. And so, yes. thank you for joining us. Yes. We want to jump right in because this is a really, a really significant yeah. topic that we want to talk yeah. about. We I talked love, about. I love it. Um, unscripted. Unscripted when life doesn't follow by the rules. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I have have found myself many times discouraged, frustrated, angry even. Let's yeah. be honest. Angry. Yeah. A little bit ticked. Um, disappointed. Discouraged. Yeah. Because my plans that I had so securely tied up yeah. fell through. And, and I think what happens when our life is always full of predictability and things in place, we always set ourselves up for things that are going to slip beneath the cracks and it's going to be like, it doesn't follow the rules. Yes. And I think a lot of us maybe are routine kind of people. Mm. We love routine yep. because we, we know what's coming. Yes. And, and it puts us, but sometimes we get in a rut. I think sometimes that's our security. Yes, We, we I assume things that. to go a certain way. We plan for things to go a certain way. And, and we want things to turn out a certain way, but we've taken out the life factor. I know. It's a <laughs> life factor. And, and it gets us every time. <laughs> it gets us every time because bar none, we... We hold secure to our plans. And and life is just not like that. Life isn't like that. It doesn't fit in a nice, neat little bundle. No, it doesn't follow it, it, the rules. It doesn't follow the rules. No. And so the question we have to ask ourselves is, if life doesn't follow the rules, then how do I deal with it? Yeah. Because the reality is, we're going to face it no matter what. We're going to go up against things. There are always things that we can't control. And if we constantly hang on to our system, and when that missed system decides to go a different route, then then it's like we, we don't know what to do. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what I thought of, like being a, a musical person, like sometimes we are trained since we're young and we're trained to follow notes. We, we read notes and that's how we play. That's how we make music. That's how we make life. With the, so, like the notes on the sheet. The yes. notes. And all of a sudden the notes are gone and we don't know how to play. It's like we can't play by the notes anymore. Right. That's kind of how it feels maybe when life doesn't follow the rules. I, I think it's important <laughs> for us to really emphasize the fact that we we make a lot of assumptions in life. We we don't we don't often take an account for misfortune. We don't take an account for what if the plan doesn't work? We don't take an account for what if things changed midstream? How do how do we how do we deal with that? And and the reality of life is we've got to learn to be able to uh, deal with that when that happens yes. because it's just reality of life. Things don't come scripted. Yeah. They don't come with a script. Yes. And the more we rely on the script, the more we prop ourselves up to frustration disappointment, hurt, misunderstanding, and the more discouraged we get to go at it again. Yeah. And, and I've been there at times of my life, and we've struggled with that. We have. And we've worked through stuff. And life life has not followed the rules for us. For me, the rules Many. were, you know what, if you go up to work, yeah. you know, you get paid, you pay your bills, you yes. pay the things you owe, yeah. but all of a sudden, if it doesn't follow the script, all of a sudden, the work is yes. not there. Now what? Yeah. What I was counting on was something that was going to show up all the time, but now it didn't follow the rules. Yeah, and I think you were right in saying a lot of our security is yeah. placed on life following our plan. Yes. Right? Following the rules. That's where our security is. It's yes, instability. That's where we, we want stability. Yeah. And, and the thing is, if we create stability out of life stuff, we have the potential of always having earthquakes and Knocked falling because 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 yeah. nothing is secure in that yeah. aspect, and we have to and and trudging through life sometimes makes that difficult yeah. if we're always set on certain things happening. Yeah. And I think that's also true just with regular life, but it's also true in our relationship with God because. 
because sometimes we think he's scripted and he's not That's scripted. That's right. Sometimes so, we have a box. So we, we have him in a box where he has to live and, and breathe and act a certain way because that's how we understand him to. Yeah. And, and, and God refuses to be in a box. And yeah. so he'll step out of that. And then our faith gets rattled because yeah. we don't know what to do with it because we learned a system. Yes. We learned a script of how this was to work. Yep. And, and, and we set ourselves up, folks, of disappointment after disappointment when we put things in a box. Yeah. When we script stuff because life doesn't follow the rules. Yeah. And that sucks sometimes. It does. You know, it- we've walked through some crazy felt like lows when life just totally broke all of our rules. And sometimes our yeah. security was totally, it felt like ripped from us. And yeah. we didn't know. And we had to walk through a lot of emotions, yeah. a lot of being ticked, a lot of, you know, just sadness because there was yes. a lot of things that didn't turn yeah. out like we had wanted to. Our right. plans we yes. were written in yeah. stone, but we didn't take into account economy. We didn't take into account that we overextended ourselves in certain areas. We we didn't take into account sometimes maybe we didn't exercise wisdom or understanding how certain things function. And and so we've had to learn to make mm-hmm. constant changes all of all the time. And you know what I love just about our story because there was times when we were like really angry with God because we thought, why did you let this happen? But you know what? In our journey, I just want to say this, that as we invited God because he was walking with us through we may have life not always breaking seen it the rules and recognized yes it. but I just remember sometimes when we watched when looking back we seen how God actually yeah. brought us totally through that wreckage yeah. well, point in our that's life what seen it wreckage yes. because that's yeah what happens when we script our lives and it doesn't follow those rules Often it can look like wreckage, Mm -hmm. but really in the midst of all that mess, in the midst of that disaster, God is going to reveal gold because he's going to show us something that we've never seen before, a principle, or it's going to be an aspect of our life that's going to be used as a piece of a puzzle to shape our our thinking and shape how we view things from a different perspective. And so as I look back on some of those difficult moments that we faced and those struggles that we went through, um, yes, it was hard, and and I wouldn't want to go through that again necessarily, but we've learned valuable things because I'm learning... And, and I wish I was there already, but I'm learning that life just doesn't follow the rules. Yeah. And, and if we try to make our faith like that, yeah. we set ourselves up for the same disappointment. Yeah. And, and if we, 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 we teach people to, this is the way it works, and we yep. give them that system. That's and right. We give them the script, and they, and they take the script, and they look at it, and they follow the lines, and all of a sudden, it doesn't work. And they start questioning, and then everything else gets uprooted yeah. all around. And, yeah. and, and to be able to be able to hang on to things loosely and have an attitude of constant learning, mm-hmm. I think is so, so important. Yeah. Because if we don't, we're going to say screw life. Life's not and following my rules have and screw life. And many yep. people have come. I've yep. almost come to my life and said, you know yes. what? This yep. is not working. Yeah. Because I remember it wasn't following my set of rules. Yep. And, and that's why I think it's important as people that walk with Jesus, we have to be careful that we don't script things to other people. Mm-hmm. And because God... God cares about us individually and yes. walks with us individually and teaches us the way we know yeah. and understand the way we understand. And I think it's important to understand that, that it's not always going to be scripted. It's not a And, and there's formula. a freedom in that, though. Yeah. There's a freedom because, yeah. because we can learn so much understanding those aspects. So, so the question I want to ask us this, this evening that I think it's important for us to dive in just a little bit is the whole idea, okay... If things are unscripted, if, if if life doesn't follow the rules, yeah, then how are how, how are we? How are you and I? How are we then to uh, to navigate our life? Yeah. Because if nothing is solid, I mean God's truth is solid. His His word is solid. The things He declares is solid. But I mean in life as general. 
I mean, we can live with ideals, but we have to live in reality. There, there, there are things that are going to switch and turn and mm-hmm. twist on us yeah. as we all are experiencing yeah. right now yeah. with different aspects yeah. of and stuff. And we've been there too. Like there's job loss. Absolutely. There's, yeah. What if, oh, my marriage is falling apart. There's stuff that we were banking on and it's gone. There, there, there's a, there's it's a, real life. That's the thing. It's real life. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to live with ideals. I want to live in real life because I know Jesus Christ yeah. meets us in yes. real life, in real time. We don't have a scripted package that all of a sudden we have all our ducks in a row. Mm-hmm. We all have all our theology right, and then it all falls together. Mm-hmm. It's it's not about that. And I want to. I think it's important that we need to communicate that we release that freedom in you to journey through and to learn from experiences and not to script, not to script your relationship with God. Yeah, to script Something alive always changes. Something alive always develops and grows. Mm -hmm. The first sign of something that's dead is it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. And sometimes our faith just doesn't change. We Mm -hmm. hang on to a script and we take it with us wherever we go and then we try to pass it on to everyone else when it's not about that script. That's what Um, makes relationships so unique and alive opposed to religion. Yeah, because actually when Jesus was here and he actually represented who God really was right. and he broke out of the church box and the church didn't know what to do with him because he was doing it all wrong. Yeah. He he lived an unscripted life. He broke out of the box. Even That's... though they constantly gave strips. They <laughs> constantly gave Script. scripts. Constantly okay. gave scripts. And he would constantly step around those scripts because... Mm-hmm. The very, Mm -hmm. this is important to understand, the very heart of God Mm -hmm. is not scripted. He doesn't have a script. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it so real because when, when we script things, it's easy to control them. Yes. It's easy to to control them and yes. keep them nice and neat, but when things aren't, they spill over, and all of a sudden you yeah. didn't take account for this, and, yeah. and 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 that's where discouragement sets in. That's where frustration sets in. That's where all kinds of yeah. questions and things rise, and 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 people have struggled. We know people that have struggled with faith because it's not working. Yeah. And the reality is they're. It's been it become a script, yeah. And and it's just like Jesus when he showed up, he broke all those molds yes, and those he strips. Did. Yes, he did. And, and, and the church at that day didn't know what to do with him. They were yeah. so angry because it wasn't <laughs> life. What doesn't wasn't following the rules. No. And and it's we're not yeah. saying it's important yeah. for us to understand. We're not saying it's a free for all frenzy. No. But it's not scripted. It's not. This set, yeah, because yeah. it's alive, yeah, and so that's important. So yeah. th- there's a verse. Um, it's in Philippians, I believe. It's in Philippians, uh, chapter four. I'm not sure where exactly it is, but but Paul said something that I think really, really fits in with what we're talking about, and I think it, you you might find it a real encouragement because Paul says, "I I found the secret. I, I love yeah. I love what how it's worded." He says, "I've." found the secret and then he says something like this i i know what it's like to have everything yeah everything's in place everything in place i know when it's all in order but i also know when it all is falling apart yeah life didn't follow my rules i know what it's like to be to be full and satisfied but i also know to be empty and be in need Mm. i found the secret i found the recipe to be consistent no matter what life throws at us. Mm. And it's important for us to understand that because sometimes life throws things at us that are outside our realm. Yeah. It's not something we've done. It's not something we've created or, or decision we made. Yeah. Sometimes it's outside that realm. Yeah. And so instead of getting discouraged and disappointed, Paul says, I have a secret. Yeah. I have a secret to walking through life unscripted Mm. 
and I can appreciate every yes, event, that's every huge. moment, every context, every yes. situation. And yeah. and I, I'm not one of these advocates that we got to pound on our government's doorstep to change the rules of this and change the rules of that, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Because I believe mm-hmm. when the kingdom of heaven, this mm-hmm. is so important, mm-hmm. when I believe the kingdom of heaven is alive in us, mm-hmm. It has no boundaries. That's right. It has no walls. Yes. Because we carry the very presence and the truth of who Jesus is with us. Yes. And, and and because of that reality, yes. we influence and change. We don't need to be bound by four walls and a mm-hmm. roof. We are yes. the presence. We yes. are the church. And yeah. and, and I, I just I just celebrate that. But Paul says I got the secret. Yeah. I, I I know what it takes. I found the balance. Yeah. I, I think, hmm. I don't know about you, but I look at my life, I need more balance. Yes. Because I can be, I can tend to be extreme. Mm-hmm. I get extremely frustrated, extremely disappointed, and then mm-hmm. extremely hurt, extremely, you know, frustrated and extremely angry at times, depending on what is yeah. important to me. Yeah. And, and, and instead of living on the extremes, and I, and I think sometimes... We've got to be careful that we don't become extreme. Mm -hmm. Extreme in our doctrine and extreme Mm -hmm. in our theology, extreme in our viewpoints, Mm -hmm. extreme in our our system that we have because Mm -hmm. extreme is always dangerous because it it doesn't take into account life. Mm -hmm. It's like sometimes we take life too serious too serious we're too serious about how it's all gonna go whereas uh, sometimes we need to wing it it's wing night right yeah, it's, wing, it's Wednesday, yep. yeah, Wednesday it's wing, wing night. night. So if you need wings, you can get some. But I'm just saying, sometimes you need to wing it. Let life go with the flow of what life brings you to learn to enjoy. And that's what Paul, I think, meant is he learned to enjoy life. Sometimes we can be so scripted we squeak yeah. when we walk because we <laughs> don't yeah and normally uh, it's actually not that too drives me not not too fun to walk with people like that I, that I are can squeaking see, i can walk. see that god has a sense of humor because <laughs> yes. sometimes the stuff that he watches us do i think so it must just he must be laughing because of the so. show I, that we often put on. And sometimes we think we're so right and yeah. our way is so right yes. and we've got the truth. And yet yeah. it doesn't follow the rules. And all yeah. of a sudden something slips out here. Now, now yeah. what? Because I thought this was solid and it's not. Yeah. Life's not like that. Yeah. Do we want to go through some points? Yes. Let's Honey, go through some points. Let's do it. So what a, the question that I need to ask and we want to talk about is, yeah. so then what is a response? If yeah. it isn't unscripted and, and life doesn't follow the set of rules, yeah. then yeah. what's the best yeah. way? What's the best way of approaching it? Because I believe God wants us to succeed in wherever we are. Yeah. I've said this before many times that, that we can thrive where we're planted, regardless of what's around us, yeah. because of what's in us. Yes. And, and we don't ever have to be influenced by what's around because the influence on the inside is always greater. Yeah. It all depends on what we focus on the most. It yeah. per- depends on what we comes out of us. Yes. So what's number one? So number one is, I think if we want to be encouraged in moments like that, yeah. when we're dealing with scripts and, and how things are not going with the rules... The first thing I want to say is I think it's important for us to say don't get bent out of shape. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. get bent out of shape. I think that's that's the starting block that I would yeah. want to start is we, yeah. we can't get bent out of shape because yeah. more often than none, what happens when our system gets challenged yeah. or the rules get broken in our form, yeah. Yes. it's like all of a sudden we get bent out of shape because we yeah. weren't expecting that. Yes. And I, I I like the fact, just the the being in the rut. If we can see it as this is taking me out of my rut, and yep. it's actually gonna it's gonna push me. It's Into gonna new direction, mm-hmm. new ways. Yep. I, I put a note here under this. Don't get bent to the shape. We've got to learn. We've got to learn to adapt. Mm-hmm. We've got to learn to adapt. Mm -hmm. Life is going to always shift and turn. We've got to learn Mm -hmm. to adapt. If we are inapt to adapt, we're in trouble. Mm 
We've got to learn to adapt. Mm -hmm. Adapting is the key to mm -hmm. constant success. Mm -hmm. And so we have to make adjustments. Yeah. Too often, too often, we, 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 we just... We don't make the most of the moments we're given. We we don't innovate. We we mm. don't learn to adjust. Mm -hmm. We don't learn to adjust. We we live in, in in what we don't want moved. Yes. And and when that happens, we set us. We got to learn to adapt. We've got to learn to adapt. If we if 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 we don't, we're gonna get swallowed up. Life is gonna swallow us mm -hmm. if we don't learn to adapt. Yeah. Yeah, and sometimes we we have actually felt swallowed off by life. We have. We have felt, but looking back, we actually saw God very present in those moments. In those times where why, we why felt is it, very. Why is it? Why is it that? Why is it that when our plans don't go through, we think right away God's against us? Mm -hmm. Or where's God in that? It's almost like mm -hmm. we we can have a default that it's his fault. Mm -hmm. When yeah. when it's not about that, mm -hmm. why is it that we do that so often? Mm -hmm. Why do we challenge God that way? Why do we often feel like yeah. I'm not given the potential that I do? Why is it happening to me? Mm -hmm. Because when things are happening to us, we don't think. We yeah. think we're the only ones. Yeah, often we do, don't we? Adapting. Yeah. Adapting is so important because unless we learn to adapt, yeah. we can't make the necessary changes we need to constantly learn and constantly be on top and constantly develop. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. this making it's sense? A, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a challenge to grow, for it sure, is. and that's what adaption does. If we don't, we, so, we, we first of all we don't get better in shape. We've yeah. got to learn to yeah. adapt. Yeah. And then, and then the second thing here I have down is not only do we learn to adapt, but here's a statement. You, you, someone from church came to the bank and made a yeah. statement to you, and, and I, yeah. I thought this is this is this is a great statement. Yeah. Not only do we learn to adapt, why? I'm going back to that because why is it so hard? Yeah. Why is it so hard to be adaptable? Yeah. Because we don't want to change at times. Yeah, it's our security. Yes, I, it's, I our just, security it our we, we're, we're yeah. our security net. It is our security. We're used to a system. Yeah. And when that gets disrupted, yeah. our security, our insecurity rises up. And man, I can relate to that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah. so much. Yeah. So we have to I, learn to adapt. But then the second thing is we have to blaze our own trail. Yeah. And that's what Sheldon popped by and he said that. He says it's like that poem where there's two roads in the wood. Which one are you going to take? And he says, you know what? I think we need to blaze our own trail. Yeah. I think we need to blaze our own trail. Sometimes we don't know what's inside of us if we stay scripted yes. we stay in the box and then we when never can life, reach our potential no, if we stay scripted yes and when life breaks our rules it's actually our opportunity to wow. find out who we really can, are you, you need to say that again because sometimes I, we need to hear that hmm. say that again when life breaks our rules it is our opportunity it is our opportunity to find and discover yes who we really are and the potential of what's inside of us to come out that's why it's never a bad thing when mm -hmm. we go through mm -hmm. difficulties at times because it really begins to reveal the opportunity yeah where we can step in and blaze a new trail yeah. i have a note here it says yeah. this often we're looking for the easy way or just following others when sometimes we need to blaze our own trail. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That verse that you quoted, I'm just going to quote it in the message. It says, Paul says, whatever I have, wherever I am, when life's breaking my rules, I can make it through anything in the one who makes me who I am. So I feel like it is an opportunity to discover yeah what's in us I think that's what Paul can says I found the secret yep. because he knows that when things move and shift he doesn't move and shift mm -hmm. he's found the secret mm -hmm. he knows that it is it is it's opening opportunities mm -hmm. it's releasing things that were otherwise mm -hmm. locked up he yes. knows the secret that that his life is stable even though everything else can be unstable because yeah. the secret was he's realized and understood that life is not scripted 
Yeah. It doesn't follow the rules. Yes. And the moment we understand that, the moment we realize that, is the moment we step into freedom. Because now we're not bound by certain things. Our hands are open to certain stuff mm -hmm. because we know we're going to make adjustments. We know there's going to be opportunities for us to adapt and all kinds of other stuff. It's almost like I remember uh, growing up as a kid going to the lake and, 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 and you know, when you when – you, uh, you see people jumping in the water and swimming and doing all that kind of stuff. And, and when you first put your feet in the water, it's like, holy mackerel, that's cold. Yeah, not getting in. You're, you're not adapted yet. <laughs> That's you're not right. Adapted. That's and, right. And, and sometimes the best ways to jump in, yeah. mine was always took an hour, it seemed. Yeah, and me, I didn't even go in. <laughs> so I would take my time making the adjustments, yeah. getting you – know, and after a while, it, it, it just worked because you learned to make adjustments. And you were in there – enjoying it yes in enjoying that new place in the water and i'm like i'm not going in that is way too freaking cold right we're blazing our own yes. trail yeah often we're looking for the easy way or just simply following others when it's our turn mm -hmm. to step out and be Dis something yeah and, and discover, discover who, who we are who we are and what god's done love that and i think that's part of us uh, when life doesn't always, we, when life doesn't follow the rules, yeah. we have to learn. Yes, to and trail our yeah. blaze our own trail. And you know what? I think sometimes when life hasn't followed our rules and everything was just shaking, our identity, my identity, was really shaken Absolutely. because I, we had put our security in what we. That did. is a, that is an important point. What we that did is very important was point. our security and was our identity. Yes. So when that gets shaken and life. It feels like breaks our rules. We don't know who we are. Yeah, we're lost. And I, I feel like it is a moment where we can lay down our masks and it is so vulnerable, but it is time to discover who we've got, we really we, we're are. We're coming to a place where I think we have to learn to break through the shells that we've surrounded ourselves yes. with. It's time, and, and, and I'm careful how I say it, it's time we have to break through our pet theologies that we've wrapped ourselves around. It's time to break through mm -hmm. the things that we've learned and boxed God in. It's time to break through those things because we're living in a time and a season where there is going to be a whole pile of new trails being blazed because God wants us to discover what he has for us, yes. who we are, and it's not going to look the same as it did 10 years ago, That's 15 right. years ago, 20 years ago, That's because right, a blazing babe. new trail is new stuff, and I'm speaking that right into your life. There are new things for you to discover. God wants to take the old things of gone, and he wants to bring new things to discover and experience because life is too short. Life yeah. is too precious to hang on to what was, what I learned, how I heard God speak how I've learned to read and understand things. God wants us to blaze through and unscript ourselves so that we discover. And when we unscript ourselves, we become susceptible to new avenues, become susceptible yes. to new ways of expressing faith and learning faith and developing faith in our life. Yes. And, and, and I want us to be at a place where we yes. are open and excited for what new things are going to come and how God's going to release strategies in us, how we can do that as we walk on brand new territory. Because God believes in us do we yes. believe in ourselves that's 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 huge because god sees us god sees who we really are he knows our potential and he wants you to know it Absolutely. he wants me to know it Absolutely. and sometimes when life breaks all the rules god wants to come and show us open our eyes to see oh i, I had a thought here as we were just thinking and talking Jesus was a rule breaker. Yeah, he was. The religious day and the religious time and the society in his day handed him a set of scripts. And they understood that's how God thought. They understood that's what God wanted. Yes. They understand it. And they were and Jesus yeah. came and, and, and blazed his own trail and said, Listen, you, yeah. you missed God's intent. Yeah. And he went out and pushed through. Yes, he did. And he changed the world. Yeah. Do you want to just quickly say our last point? Our last so, point that I think is important. Yes, The it secret is. aspect. The secret is we yes. can't be bent out of shape. Yes. We've got to learn to adapt. Yeah. We have to learn to blaze our own trail. Yeah. And thirdly, we need to stay connected to the right source. Stay connected. 
I, I put this down because I think it's important for us to hear this. We become what we consume or we, or we fulfill uh, what we fill ourselves with. Yeah. We become what we consume or fill ourselves with. Yeah. yeah. We bear the fruit of what we're most aware of. Yeah. Yeah. And Paul addresses that in this verse. He says, and I find that the strength and the power of Christ's explosive power infused me in me. Yes. I can conquer every difficulty. That was his secret. That was his secret. I know who I am and I know who I'm connected to. It is so important because when we know who we were connected to, yeah. what he is becomes completely and totally available to us. Yeah. Every day, every moment. Absolutely. That's so powerful. Absolutely. Thank you so much wow. for taking the time to join us. I so enjoyed this, I enjoyed honey. this. Uh, we yes. just enjoy doing this thing together. We have yeah. a lot of fun because a lot of this stuff we're wrestling through ourselves. And you're yeah. looking at two people here yeah. that are, are still on journey. Yeah. We have not arrived. Yeah. We are working through some yeah. of this stuff. We've been hurt by the church at some points yeah. And, yeah. And, and how the church culture has tried to shape and mold us over the years, right? Yeah. We come from those things. Yes. But we know and tasted freedom yes and experiencing transformation power and we want everyone else to experience the same thing we do we want we you all to do. experience this and so yeah we just thank you for joining us yes. again we have our youtube channel estevan church of god yeah. we have our facebook page yeah you know we always keep things up to date our mm -hmm. website has a lot of resources yeah. mm -hmm. past messages that we preached before we yes. went into the studio yeah and and we would just love for you to take advantage of all those things yes. and we want to say thank you so much for all of you that are continuing to give it is so humbling to see even though yeah. we've not met as a group as met as a as a, as a, as a church body yes but you guys are so faithful every one of you we want to thank you we encourage you just to keep yes. that up we just so value that it, yes. it helps us continue to do what we're doing here mm -hmm. it provides us opportunity to reach out into our community mm -hmm. it provides opportunity for us to expand our hands and our feet and help those that are needing and so we just thank you so much yes, for allowing thank you guys the, us this privilege and thank you so much for making us yeah. a part of your home and part of your life yes. and we want to say god bless you yes thank you remember don't live life scripted that's right let's unscript yes ourselves and watch what god will do Goodbye. yes see you guys